your back is turned so she's going to come to you and from behind in your ear. So, yeah. can't you just trust us? Wait, don't publish it until we're gone. That's all. You remember that great Tony Fields joke? I've been on a diet for 14 days and all I want is you criticize my fault in every best choice I make. I know it's how you were made. And you tell yourself that it's only because you're pushing me you only want the best for me. All of us um, have uh, issues that we deal with on a regular basis. And other desert cities is, is so unique in that it, um, it kind of cuts through um, four or five different emotions. Anger, shame, guilt, sadness, depression, anxiety. There's themes of addiction in this play, which, which touches everybody, or most everybody. If it's not us, it, it, it's somebody who we know. I think that everybody is going to get a, a very deep sense of a family. Uh, there's a, a lot of issues in this play that will touch on everybody from all walks of life. And so there's something for everyone to connect to. And um, there's a lot of love in the play. And so um, by the end of the show, I think everybody will have that, that feeling of, um, of gratitude for the good things in their life and the good things in their family and the people that are involved with their lives. Everyone in this show is family. Myself and my wife, our two kids, and my sister-in-law that makes up the cast. So, yes, we're ensemble, but really, we're a family, and that is the way that this cast has really come together. It's really, really tight, and I'm enjoying that experience. You know that saying about you can't choose your family? I think everyone has those moments at family gatherings where they think, who are these people, and what am I doing here with them? And I think that's the part they'll be able to identify with, are those strange moments in a family where people don't get along or there's tension or um, stories that people don't want to be reminded about. Thanksgiving dinner conversation. <laughs> uh, listen, this show is going to pin your ears back. I mean, if you, if you expect to come to this show and, and smile and, and kind of just tune in and out uh, some of the time, that's not going to happen. I mean, it, it is an intense drama with some funny in it. It's different for what we've done in most of my time here with Gross Point Theater. This is a very intimate setting. You are going to be as close to me as I am to this camera right now. And we're on the same level with the audience. So you're in it. You're not just observing from afar to some actors on stage. You're in our house. And that, I think, is something that is going to be very, very interesting and challenging for our audience, but in a good way. I think it's a challenge for the actors, and I think it's a challenge for the audience. Both of those things are good. What I really like about this particular production is that we're doing it in a semi-thrust, a really small, intimate setting. We're going to be this close to the audience members. I think it's going to be something really different and really exciting for people to see. Don't wait on this one. This is going to be good. It's our true drama of the year for Gross Point Theater, so don't pass this up. Tickets are so easily available. You can always start by calling the box office at 313-881-4004, or you can go on gpt.org and you can use our online ticketing service. It's real easy and it's only 15 bucks, folks. Don't miss it.